I want to start by thanking my friend uh, Bart Garden, David Wu, ranking members, uh, ranking member Ralph Hall, uh, Harry Mitchell, and my friend uh, Adrian Smith for their leadership on this bill. They put together a strong bill which every member should feel proud of supporting when they speak to their local firefighters. Members should be proud that this legislation gives those local firefighters the resources they need to best keep their communities safe and secure. And members should be protective equipment and personnel this bill provides could potentially save the lives of those very firefighters. My amendment will, I believe, make this bill even better. Every year, roughly 100 firefighters die in the line of duty. This is a tragedy, and each one of those brave men and women is a hero for their sacrifice. But we think some of these deaths were preventable, so we must act. Studies have shown that all too often a contributing factor of their deaths was failure to comply with national voluntary consensus standards. These national voluntary standards are developed over years of collaboration and debate within the National Fire Protection Association, which I will call the NFPA. As the independent experts on fire policy, the NFPA has developed these standards for over 100 years to keep communities and the firefighters who protect them safe. Yet the federal government does not have a thorough understanding of how fire departments follow various NFPA standards. We in the Congress dedicate a great deal of time and resources to help our fire departments, but we cannot gauge our overall effectiveness without knowing where we are successful and where we fall short. My amendment authorizes the U.S. Fire Administration to conduct a first-of-its-kind survey of our nation's fire departments to measure how well they are adhering to these safety standards. Once the study is complete, a task force of industry stakeholders will make recommendations to Congress on the methods to increase compliance, especially in the post-9-11 world where firefighters play a vital role in our homeland security a stronger emergency response capability means a weakened threat of terrorist attack. I should add that this amendment is nearly identical to my bill, the Firefighter Fatality Reduction Act. That bill has broad bipartisan support of 31 members from rural, urban, and suburban districts. It is supported by the International Association of Firefighters, the International Association of Fire Chiefs, and the National Fire Protection Association. This bill, this amendment is simple. These safety standards can save firefighter li firefighters' lives. Let us study how well our fire services are using these standards and bring an industry task force to think creatively about ways to boost compliance. It's good for our firefighters, it's good for our local communities, and it's good for homeland security. With that, I'd reserve the balance of my time.